Let's say we wanted to sketch y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we can go through the same process as we did in the previous video. We could look at when x is 0. Well, when x is 0, we get y is equal to 4. 0 squared, take away 4, lots of 0, plus 4. So we know where it crosses the y-axis. We then want to find where it crosses the x-axis. So that's when y is 0. So 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. This is a quadratic I can factorise, because that's x minus 2 all squared. Now, when is this equal to 0? Well, that would be when x is 2, when x minus 2 is 0. So the fact is that we only have one coordinate of where it's crossing the x-axis. Now this is peculiar, because if you think about the shape of the curve, looking something like that, and we know that it's crossing through the y-axis at 4, and crossing through the x-axis at 2, what that would mean is that in order for it to do that, it must only brush the x-axis. So the curve will come through 4 on the y-axis, and then just brush the x-axis at that point, at the point 2. Okay? And that would be the shape of the curve, y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 or y is equal to x minus 2 all squared. Okay? So you could see that it's just the y is equal to x squared curve that's been shifted two steps to the right. Okay? And that's going to become more apparent when we look at graph transformations later.